Hi, it's Alastair Hart from Mango's Mapping with you once again. Today we're going to be talking about the continuous auto collect feature in MLED Flow. This feature allows you to auto collect points or lines or vertices along a line at a fixed interval of either time or distance. The most common application for this is going to be the distance feature. So you can map a road center line, a concrete path. In today's example, we're gonna map this sand pit. And what we're going to be able to do today is continuously stream vertices along the boundary of this sand pit. I've got it set for every half a meter, and that will allow us to determine the area of this sand pit. If this sand pit required replenishment, we could then work out what additional depth of sand we required, maybe an extra 20 centimetres of sand, and take that area value, multiply it by 0.2, and that will give us the total cubic metres that is required to add an extra 20 centimetres of profile to this sand pit. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do once we've connected our receiver and opened our project is jump into our settings and make sure that we've got the auto collect on. You can see that I've got that configured as auto collect by distance down here. We can configure it by distance or mode, uh, distance or time. I've got it set by distance and we've got a collect interval of 0.5 meters. I'll save that setting. And once I stimulate the IMU, because I've just been standing here for a little bit, Um, we are able to see that we've got a code selected. We've got a code of gravel pit selected. And now what we can do is start to collect this feature. So I'm just going, I've got tilt compensation on, so I don't have to worry about the geometry of my pole. And I can hit start. And effectively, as I move along, you'll hear the receiver provide me with an auto notification at every point that I'm collecting along the edge of this boundary. So I'm just going to continue to trace along the edge of this boundary as a guide for the area where additional sand is required. So you can see it's a relatively smooth process and it's so much faster and we're approaching the end of this shape and when we approach the end of this shape we can close it out and we can now select that object, go into edit and in the edit dialog, you can see that there is a checkbox that allows us to close that line. What we now have is a polygon that describes the shape of this sand pit. When we export that back out as a shape file or as a DXF into our GIS or CAD packages, we can then work with that shape and do the calculations that are necessary or even export it out as a CSV and do those calcs in Microsoft Excel. I hope you found this short video today helpful. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel, feel free to leave a comment below, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.